The reason, though, why you do cross cuts with the blade spinning this way and you pull the saw towards you. The main reason is, as you saw your piece, the direction of thrust on the workpiece is into the table and into the fence. And as an added bonus, most of the sawdust chips and waste are directed away from you. There's a safety concern with doing pull through cuts. And that concern is, is that the blade has a tendency to naturally, spinning this way, run towards the user. Let me demonstrate. Here I've got the blade just barely touching the table. If I reach in here and spin it in the same rotation that it spins when the motor's on, you'll see that as it grabs, it runs towards the user. This saw spins at 3,450 revolutions per minute. And if you're doing a pull through cut and it tries to climb up on the wood or it grabs into the wood or the table that you're cutting, you got to be ready for it to run back towards you, to be propelled towards you. Likewise, if you let go of this handle while the saw is turned on, it can propel itself out. As such, you never want to have your hands anywhere near the direction this blade travels, the path this, this blade travels. When the saw is turned on, in any of the crosscut positions, one hand should be on the handle, the other should be holding down the workpiece. Or if the workpiece is clamped, the hand should be on the side of the table or in a safety zone. Your free hand, that's not holding the handle, should always be at least six inches from the blade. And you should never cross your arms as you pull the saw through. Also, keep your work area clean, both the tabletop and the floor, especially because you do not want to fall into the saw if you trip.